In the second half of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, the Apostle Paul says that we were created for a purpose. To do good works, which he, God, prepared in advance for us to do. Now, I'll never forget an example of that that I experienced back in the year 1980. It was right around Thanksgiving. And there was a terrible fire that was burning down from the mountains in San Bernardino, California, right into the headquarters of our ministry at Arrowhead Springs. The winds were strong, and the fire was raging. And in the course of that fire burning through our headquarters, it burned out the one and only bridge at the entrance to our property. So in other words, we couldn't get there. Now, it was just over a little creek, but nonetheless, we couldn't get in. What do we do? I remember the next morning, we were wrestling with that. And about 10 o'clock in the morning, I got a call from a guy named Colonel Gus Guth. Now, you might guess from that, he was in the Army. He called me up and he said, Steve, you know I was in the Army. Yeah, Gus, I knew that. Named Colonel in front of you. Kind of tips me off. He said, do you know what part of the Army I was in? I said, no, Gus, I didn't know. And he said, the Army Corps of Engineers. Do you know what the Army Corps of Engineers does for a living? Among other things, they build bridges. I understand the bridges out at Arrowhead Springs. You give me $10,000 this morning, and you'll have a bridge by this afternoon. I said, Gus, you got the money, OK? Well, I thought about a whole lot of other things we were trying to do to recover and didn't think much about Gus until probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I got a call from Gus. He said, it's done. I said, seriously? I said, seriously, it's done. He built a bridge that lasted for over a year. Cement trucks, all sorts of traffic went over that bridge in just a matter of a few hours. You see, God put Gus Guth in a position being on our staff at the time. His, actually, place of work was up at Arrowhead Springs. Couldn't really go to work in any other way. And he was the perfect person to meet the need that we had. We needed a bridge and God had prepared beforehand a person to be on our staff right there who knew how to build bridges fast. Now let me ask you a question. What kinds of works has God prepared for you to do? And it's important for you to know that he has. And secondly, look for those things that God wants you to do.